The other week, I was playing tennis and I didn't get a good warm up. It's colder out and I started to play hard right away. And after about an hour of playing, I instantly felt this pinch in my shoulder. And of course me, and you're probably the same, you played through it or you worked through it and then it got worse. And we're 10 days into it and now I've got full shoulder range of motion. And what I wanna to do today is show you the exact routine that I did five days a week in order to get back to full strength and full mobility. We're gonna do wall front crawls, ear to shoulder side crawl, choke holder shoulder cross bodies, tubing external rotations, tubing reverse flies, push up plus. So for this shoulder rehab routine, all you need is a wall and some tubing. We're gonna do the arm that is sore and we're gonna do five reps for each one. First one is a wall crawl. Now for some of you, you might even just start way back here, but everybody else, let's do our slide. So get your hand as close as you can. So if it's 90, if it's lower, that's all you get. Now we're gonna slide it up and you're gonna go as far as you can. Push your body into over pressure. So meaning get as close as you can and then slide back down, down to neutral. That's one. Let's get five. Slide up, feel that stretch. Some of you might feel that pinching at the top. Come back down, that's two. Slide back up. Push that arm, push that chest right into that shoulder. That's three. Look at that, 10 days out. I could not do this 10 days out. Four, slide it, push it. I don't even feel nothing. This is perfect. You might be feeling it today, but that's all right. Give this 10 days and you'll be back. And that's five, okay? Second one, arm here. Some of you might not even get up the wall. Okay, but we're gonna do this side to ear. So same thing, except we're gonna walk in, step in sideways, and then try to put that ear to the shoulder, okay? Now we're getting range of motion into that rotator cuff, getting range of motion to that shoulder. If you feel pinching at any time, stop there and go back down, but work at my rhythm, okay? So that's, this is three. Let's do two more. Step out, four, get in nice and close. Push that whole body in there if you can. And last one, okay guys? One more, all the way up, good. All right, the last one here, we're gonna take that arm, put it into the back, okay? Have that elbow pointing towards me, towards the screen. Now take your palm and push that elbow right in. So you're gonna push that shoulder and you might even get some pinching right there. And all you're gonna do is just push that hand and that arm into that shoulder, okay? So we're gonna push, hold, two, three, down. Push. Two, three, two. Push, two, three, three. Two more. Push, two, three, four. And last one. Push, two, three, relax. Good. So that's set number one. That's our range of motion. Now we're gonna get into the strengthening. Any type of elastic tubing is good for this. If you got one of these machines, it's perfect, but otherwise the tubing is probably where you wanna start. The reason why the tubing has no real resistance when you lower the phase. It's usually the lower phases that causes the most amount of strain on the shoulder. So when you use tubing, you actually won't get that, okay? But when you use dumbbells, obviously you gotta hold that weight in your hands, but tubing's just gonna snap back. Okay, so what you can do, one of two things. To make it harder, you pull the slack. Okay, so right now my shoulder is in full health, so I can go more slack, okay? Now if your shoulder isn't strong enough, you basically wanna start that elbow glued to your side. You wanna lock this into your fist, and we're just gonna do external rotations. Coming back to neutral, so out, ready? One, two, three, come back to neutral. Ready? Two, two, three, down. And up, three, two, three, down, nice and easy. Up, four, two, three, down, and one more. Five, two, three, down, good. So now we're strengthening into that rotator cuff. Now the second exercise is very similar. So you can do two hands or you can do one hand. Again, the less tubing that's on around that pole, the harder the exercise, okay? So we're gonna go for full range. Again, my shoulder's in perfect condition right now. So we'll probably go about there. Okay, stand up straight, set your shoulders, and all we're gonna do is go backwards, okay? So we're gonna go backwards like that. It's gonna be an external rotation, okay? Now try and prevent your body from rotating. All right, five reps, hands up. One, two, three, down. Ready? Two, two, three, down. Notice how my arm is straight and locked out. Ready? Three, two, three, down. Ready? Four, two, 
three, down. Ready? Five, two, three, down. Excellent. So that's your tubing, reverse fly. We're gonna work on the muscles that support the back of the shoulder. It's also gonna reset that shoulder blade so that you're, you know, you might have some rolled shoulders. It's gonna bring everything back and help you with that posture as well. The next one's gonna be a push-up plus. If you cannot support your own body weight, you can start this exercise on your knees. But ideally, we wanna put more weight on here. You're not actually doing a push-up. What you're gonna do is get into a push-up position and you're gonna push away, okay? So there's no elbow bend. Look at my elbows. They're locked out and you're just gonna push your body away, okay? So we're gonna do this for a three count, five reps. Ready? Push, one, two, three, reset, three, Push, two, two, three, relax, two, two, three. Push, three, down, two, three. Up, four, two, three, down, relax, two, three. Last one, up, two, three, and down, relax. Good, so that's your push up plus. So there we have it, do that five days a week. Do it every day if you fear shoulder problems, but in about 10 to 15 days, you should notice some recovery where you're getting back your mobility, getting back your strength, and you'll be able to get back to working out full time. Now, if you're looking for more mobility and recovery routines, I put a link in the description called the Fit Club Stretch and Mobility YouTube series. Click the link, follow along with the videos, get mobile, get healthy, and we'll see you on the blue.